M0FXP, welcome back to the channel. So in the past you've seen us with these different LoRa gadgets. Here's one here, Helltech 3, just here. Uh, we have a few lying around uh, and they're fun. And the whole point of them is they're like off-grid devices. So they don't need Wi-Fi. They don't need, you know, the infrastructure that we are so used to. Wi-Fi 4G. So this new product is called Mesh Pocket. And you can see here, I'll just zoom in a bit closer. This device isn't just a Mesh-tastic LoRa device. It also is a power bank and it just it's, it's magnetized and it's, you know, you put it against your phone. And the good thing is that you can then control it with the app on your phone as well, uh, seamlessly. And you've got this nice sort of black and white screen. So let's look at the brochure. The setup is the same, you know, you select the frequency you're going to use and and away you go really. And, it, and it, the thing about the whole LoRa system is that it almost automatically sets up a wireless, you know, say a, gr uh, a grid infrastructure or an off-grid infrastructure. So if 10 of you have got the same device, same frequency, you can all start, you know, communicating with each other, um, you know, basically via the signal generated by these devices. So, you know, in extreme conditions, and I know we're very lucky in the UK, we don't tend to get that, but around the world, there are extreme conditions with hurricanes and volcanoes and ETC. And, and so this is the kind of device that they, you know, that they would turn to. Um, and if you've got a phone and the phone's flat, you can charge up the phone and run this device, connect seamlessly to MeshTastic. I'm just scrolling up here, uh, just the usual specs that you would expect, five volt, three amp, USP, and MeshTastic works with iPhones and with Android phones, showing some, showing some photographs here as well. And it looks like you can, uh, yeah, you can actually power it uh, via the USB as well. Uh, it doesn't have to be a wireless charging. So if we look at in the past, we've been looking at these sort of here. If you look here, we've got Meshtastic Flasher. So here you would choose your device and then you'd be able to flash it via a browser. You don't even have to download anything. Uh, massive information on the Meshtastic system. Maybe you haven't tinkered with it for a while. I know I haven't. We all, you know, we all get distracted and we're always tinkering with different things. These are the ones that we were all buying. Yeah, Helltech version three. Now this one here, uh, this one, my one here is actually an R node, which I haven't looked at for a long time. So the company have contacted me, Meshtastic company here that make this device and said, do you fancy giving it a test? So they are, I, well, I'm not gonna say no if they're gonna send me stuff, but this one actually, when I saw it, I went, oh, that's, that's interesting. Now price-wise, I think they're about 90 pounds. Um, so we'll see, because um, it's literally a brand new product. And there are some videos that I've been watching on YouTube showing it. Um, and, and, and yeah, so let's check it out. Video coming and uh, let me know if you've got one, seen one, what you think. And um, do you prefer just to get the little hell tech for, you get them for £25, pair it with your app on your phone. You download the Mishtastic app. Do you prefer that? Uh, or do you like the thought of having something quite sophisticated like this? I know you've got these sort of BlackBerry phone style devices. They're all pretty much doing the same thing, but on different frequencies. Some some are on uh, 400 something megahertz and some are on 800 something megahertz, which seems to be the one. And then you've got other people that have set up servers where you can look up maps, ETC, Meshtastic maps and see everyone else that's communicating. Now, the whole point of this is that you stay off grid, but you can actually go on grid connect to, to, you know, to the systems with, with uh, the internet connection, and then you can see everything going on there as well. As they call it, MQTT. You've got one here by, it looks like it's Liam Cottle. Thank you very much. And I literally haven't touched any of my Meshtastic stuff for at least six months. So I'm having to sort of refresh as I do this. Let's just click one. So obviously I'm not online at the moment, but you can click people's devices and uh, see who's online. I'm going to click one here. Mesh mark. 
See if we, yeah, Laura, 868 megahertz. So it's still out there. It's still being used. So thanks for watching. Bye.